Janiqua Medicine Bird. That's called The Journey from her album Destiny. She's here with us today telling us about her musical journey, which has taken her through some interesting things. And we're going to get more into that as uh, as the afternoon wears on or evening, depending on what time you're listening to us. Janiqua, tell us a little bit now about how you developed the sound that you're using in your music. How I developed the sound? Um, yes. You- but- I was just going to say, um, you have an original sound, so we'd be curious as to how you came up with it. Oh, yeah. So um, I have a, um, a new thing that I have with my music. Now. I, at first, I use a Presonus, um, a Presonus uh, I have a Presonus app, and then I have one, and I have a whole um, mixer, um, Presonus mixer. But somehow, when I'm using the condenser mic and I went to the Presonus mixer and into the into the computer app, um, it it just uh, it, it sounded okay or whatever. But then I added an interface in it, and so the 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 clarity with the sound sounded so much better and so much easier to mix it all together in the sound. And so I I um, I saw that a lot of the young uh, young people they create music they like that bass stuff well oh, boom 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 yes and right. I was like well yeah. I want to add some bass but I don't want it to be overkill you know I don't like this that you know you I don't like the straight bass and some of it's really hard kind of harsh but then I said then I started out making something that was like I wanted to to make it go like a wave, you know, like a wave. And it has like a, because I'm a composer, so you start off like with, with a wave, and it has this little ups, it has its downs, and it goes back up and and that way. And then finally it has like a crescendo, like boom, like, and then it goes, and then it goes to the conclusion of the song. So to me it's like a wave in how I was composing, you know, music is like a, it, it sparks your imagination and a feeling oh, and emotion. very definitely. Yeah, very mm-hmm. definitely. Now, you, you mentioned uh, something that, uh, or, or I ran across it somewhere. I think you mentioned it, but uh, I'd like for you to explain to us, because I've been in music most of my life in one form or another, and a lot of people have, but this is one that was new to me. I had never heard of the Fibonacci scales. What are they? Uh, the Fibonacci scales are kind of like the the, the original sounds uh, of, of the universe, and and they're kind of like uh, they go with sacred geometry. They go with the frequencies that are healing frequencies. When you hear the sound, it 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 it, it sparks your brain. It sparks your emotion or whatever. It can heal heal you. So I started out that, of course, I'm a doctor and I do research and whatever. But I really got into it during my doctor at the end because I was a, a statistician in numbers. And so, and I found out how everything is connected. Sound is connected to, you know, vibration. And and, and I was really going to do my dissertation on sound. But so the Fibonacci scale is kind of like in, in, in a lot of people. I heard you talking about um, Lady Gaga, and I heard even Mandan, Madonna um, in mm-hmm. her, like, best hit or whatever. They actually... Um, if you play music a long time, you kind of like memorize the sound, actually, and they play naturally the Fibonacci scale. And so you start off with one instrument and you go down about 13, um, uh, what do you call it, 13 marks, and then you start another sound and then you, you blend in another sound based on that Fibonacci scale, like a 1, 5, and 13. So that's what I did with... Um, um, with Destiny, there's a, a song in there called um, Two Stars, um, Two Stars, and so that was based strictly on my birthday and um, my Asan, my Asani's birthday, and and I knew because we are a nine together that it would uh, make a complete melody. So in that song, it's a complete melody, and so that's why I called it We Were Two Stars because. We are connected, and it completed a whole melody. So, so it's really, really kind of cool because they say that a lot of the famous singers or whatever, what sparks their notoriety nor- is that the way they set up the song, that kind of like sparks that feeling, sparks that something in you, um, uh, in that feeling. So that's why I've been doing um, practicing with the Fibonacci scale and making the the sounds that are actually soothing to your brain, the insights 
positive emotion. So that's how I did it. Awesome. That's 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 an awful lot to swallow and digest, it. <laughs> and that's something we have to think about. But it's very interesting. I'm glad you explained it. We're going to go to a track off that second album right now. This is Infinite Web. <laughs> Thank you. Infinite Web, that's Janiqui, Janiqui Medicine Bird. I'm having trouble with my tongue. I, I was trying to explain to myself what you uh, said in the last part about the Fibonacci scales, and uh, it didn't work. All I did was uh, my tongue caught my eye tooth, and I couldn't see what I was saying. But uh, <laughs> some great creative music, and I am, I am really, I, I'm really impressed with the how original a sound you not just the original songs, but the original sound you have created. That's uh, it's really something special, and I'll <laughs> I'll avoid the old uh, <clears throat> the old cliche expression. That's a feather in your cap because I think it would be totally inappropriate. <laughs> and, uh, Yet you I'm said it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Janique, we thank you so much. We are so happy to have you here with us, and uh, not only sharing the music but explaining it to us. Now, you had told us that the first album, the track on that, the journey was one that had inspired you to come up and actually do the instrumental album. So tell us, if you would, please, about the development of your instrumental album. Um, well, the, 
the instrumental album, I got the CD right here. Um, it it was just kind of uh, just a flow um, of of music, and um, I started out with a song called Two Moons, and actually it just kind of like a uh, kind of, it's kind of like a web, you know, that connects all together. And I wanted all the songs to connect somehow together. But I also wanted it to be um, kind of native oriented. And so I added flute and I added the hand drums. And but I also wanted to be more kind of like a classical kind of, uh, you know, part of instrumental. You know, when you're coming out with the songs and whatever. And I was raised classical.